Hello everyone! In this video, I'll be comparing the bolt-action rifle in Red Dead Redemption 2 to its real-life counterpart, the very cool and unique Krog Jurgensen rifle. Acquired roughly halfway through Red Dead Redemption 2, the Krog Jurgensen is a five-shot, manually-operated bolt-action rifle that fires one of the most powerful projectiles in the game. It is a very versatile rifle that excels at medium and long ranges alike, or even up close if the need arises. It's great as both a hunting and shootout rifle due to its power, accuracy, and comparatively quick reload speed compared to other guns in Red Dead. But before I get into too much detail, it's important to share some historical context and backstory for the venerated Krag, as they call it. Let's rewind to the mid-1880s. Norwegian army captain and the director of the Konsberg government weapons factory, Ole Kra, was unsatisfied with his nation's adopted service rifles due to their use of tubular magazines for loading. For those who don't know firearms terminology, the magazine is the compartment that holds ammunition in place for a firearm. A tubular magazine, then, is a tube on the underside of a gun that feeds rounds into the chamber through spring tension and an elevator. While well, popular at this time in history because they allowed rifles to hold more than one round, and were thus suitable for repeating firepower, tubular magazines were slow to load, finicky, and even disrupted the harmonics of the gun barrel, causing erratic accuracy. Ole Kroff felt Norway needed a better loading mechanism, so he set out and enlisted the help of the Danish gunsmith Erik Jurgensen to help create a new magazine for rifles to feed from. By 1886, the two Scandinavians had completed their new magazine idea. And as luck would have it, the Danish army was looking for new rifle designs. The first military Kra Jurgensen had come to be. Fast forward to 1892, the United States. As various nations around the world were issuing their troops repeating bolt-action rifles, the US was still stuck using their Springfield Model 1873s, which were single-shot rifles. In stark contrast to the United States of today, the US military was flatly behind the technological curve, and needed to catch up, fast. A rifle design competition was held on Governor's Island in New York, comparing designs from the Germans, the Swiss, the British, and many others. However, at the end of the day the Krag was chosen, mostly because of one particular feature, its use of a magazine cutoff. Most militaries of the day still preferred the use of volley fire tactics, in which the infantry line up and fire all at once on command. The idea of the magazine cutoff was that the full five round magazine was held in reserve until absolutely needed, such as when your position was being overrun. The US military also rather liked how the Krag could be topped off without having to open up the bolt. After a host of redesigns and tweaks, the US military officially adopted the Krag Jurgensen as the model of 1892. The irony is that in this gameplay clip, Arthur Morgan is kicking the living shit out of the US military with their own gun. The American M1892 was chambered for the 3040 Krag cartridge. The 3040 used a 308 caliber bullet propelled by 40 grains of smokeless gunpowder. It traveled at about 2,000 feet per second out of the muzzle, making it light years faster than anything the US had prior. Its large rim on the end aids in extraction, which can occasionally result in the rims of two cartridges locking together if incorrectly loaded into the magazine, though this is rare. While a bit slow and antiquated by modern standards, the 3040 is nevertheless reasonably accurate and has mild recoil. It's still a blast to shoot. Awful pun most definitely intended. Okay, now that I've gone into exhaustive historical and technical detail, it's time I actually shoot the thing in silence for y'all.
All in all, the Kral Jurgensen is a really neat gun in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm both proud and lucky to own such a nice example of an 1898 in real life. Yeah, they're a bit finicky and ammunition isn't cheap these days, but they're mechanically fascinating guns and extremely well made. It's a fun gun in real life and it's a fun gun in Red Dead. However you're able to use the crag, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you did, please consider throwing me a like or a comment and say what's on your mind. Until next time, Geo Echidna, signing off.